so this is the automatic cat toy it's uh so this cats don't usually play with these kinds of toys alone so this toy moves so the cat will know how to play with it you would want to buy it because your cat would play for owls until both the cat or the toy the toy or the cat run out of battery and you don't have to play with it and you can do something else here's a picture of the wiring as you can see you need to use the breadboard for the g and d because the there aren't any split wires so we have to use two one wire to connect the servo motor and the ultrasonic sensor so they can get the negative charges this is how the wiring looks in real life but the wiring will be in a in a box so it doesn't look ugly these are the components for the components i use the mlb board micro bit learner board the ultrasonic sensor the servo motor the micro bit and the breadboard how the ultrasonic sensor works the ultrasonic sensor works by sending a sound wave that humans cannot hear and when it reaches a thing let's say a cat it triggers the code but if you use a special code you can measure the distance of the cat so you can see if the cat is at five centimeters or 50. my code works so if the cat is closer oh i mean if the cat is farther than two centimeters and closer than 12 15 centimeters it does not move wait yeah, if the cat is closer than 2 centimeters and farther than 15 centimeters, it does not move. But if it's between 15 and 2 centimeters, it will move. This, this is going to be more simple. The servo motor works by moving at a specific angle that you decide. And it works with the code that is, is that the ultrasonic sensor detects the cat so it starts moving. How the pins work. The pins work by jumper wires. They attach to the pins or entrance holes on the other end and they send the code and the charges, the negative or positive charges, the code. This is the code. It works perfectly. Over here, you have to import the modules so the so it understands what to do. You have to wait. What? No, the display is off because we don't want it to be on. So tr the trigger is a variable that defines pin 15 and the echo is pin 12. The servo, since servo is already a thing, we have to make it shorter. So we put it servo. And if we put angle 0 it's for the code to work. So what I did different is I put def move servo and delay so move servo is when the servo motor moves so when it says servo dot set angle zero it moves to the angle zero then it sleeps the delay which you can decide over here in the move servo and then it moves to servo dot set angle 90 because if it moves fast so we don't want it to overheat so it moves for different angles then it goes to 180, then 90, and then back to zero. And it has the delays. Then the actual code is the while true. The time equals measure time. Trig and echo is when the when it measures the time that it takes for the tree and echo to come back. Then it prints the time plus third time, which is a variable. Then it calculates the distance because of how time how much the how many centimeters the and if the distance is below 15 and distance is above two centimeters it moves for the move servo like that we defined over here we have to put sleep 500 so it understands these are some photos of the sensor this is inside the box this is before because we had the to change it a lot of times. This is the actual thing. And this is the video. See? And they forgot to make the end. So 
Now what I'm gonna do is show how it works. So we have the cat right here. So put it right here. If you move it away, it stops moving. Then if you move it very close, We also had a few, I also had a few problems when making this box, like what happens if it breaks. So what we made it is just that it's easy to, to just take it off like this, see? It just takes it off and then, then what you have to do is just place it back in the thing, like this. That was a problem that we had, that I had when doing this, but now if the cat takes it, it which is kind of hard to do. Yeah. It just takes this off. See? So that was a simple problem to fix. Well, not that simple. I had to think about it.